All right, guys. So let's get you a video. Um, I swear the uh, the YouTube gods were completely against me for making you guys a decent couple of videos. So all I'm gonna do right this second is just turn on the lights so we can have a look at the tank. As I just changed the times, damn it. Um, I'll turn on. Uh, let's see how that looks. Yeah, it's all right. The uh, the bulbs just got to warm up, and uh, the blue washed out effect uh, will go away quite a bit. Not entirely. Uh, so, anyways, over the weekend, I tried making a couple of videos for you guys, and uh, for whatever reason, my video editing um, program wasn't working worth a shit. Um, I, for the life of me, could not edit a video and get it published. That was annoying. So then I made, uh, I tried doing a live web capture on YouTube and I couldn't upload that for whatever reason. So this is going to be kind of a combined video. Um, I'll inlay some videos here and there uh, throughout this video. Um, so I want to go over the ATI light fixture. Uh, the ATI fixture has been absolutely phenomenal. Um, probably one of the best investments I've made towards the tank uh, so far, so I think. Um, the coral growth has been out of this world. I mean, I don't know if you guys can tell. Uh, the big Pasilopora in the back, I actually had to cut it off of its base, and the base is right here. Look how thick that grew. I mean, that is huge. Um, because it was standing really tall, and it was growing out of the water a lot. So, I cut the base down, and now it's just sitting on, like, the cauliflower-looking part of it now. So... Um, the coral growth has been outstanding. I mean, a lot of these corals have grown quite a bit. Um, the only thing I gotta say that um, I miss about my LEDs is the way the corals look under LEDs. Um, don't get me wrong, with T5s, I mean, they look absolutely amazing. Um, they look more pastel than they do like that hard color pop that you get with LEDs. I never really understood what people were saying when, uh, when they would talk about LEDs making the corals pop more, it didn't. I couldn't comprehend it because I used nothing but LEDs, and for the for a while with just the ATI fixture, the corals still had that kind of look to them, but they were coming off of the LEDs. Um, so, with that being said, um, I do miss about the LEDs the way these these the colors on the corals really stood out, like they were very very bright. Like some of these corals look really bright. But under the actinics on the LEDs, it was like, whoa, and the tank was just more fluorescent. It was, I don't know, it's hard to explain. And I guess it's something you got to experience because that's what I had to do. Um, so, yeah, the coral growth, amazing. The colors still look good. Don't get me wrong. The colors still look good. But I will be supplementing the ATI fixture with um, two of the Reef Bright uh, Tech LED Strip. And they're really clean. They come with a bracket that fits perfectly on the fixture. They're going to be 48-inch LEDs, so um, maybe we, hopefully we can start getting some of that pop in. Um, that's going to be happening in the future. Um, let's see, what else about the ATI fixture? I've been through, God, it feels like hundreds of bulb combinations. Um, I have a ton of these T5 lights. Um, I, I basically bought every bulb they have and I think I bought a set of like three or four per bulb. Uh, the blue pluses I really went nuts on buying those because that was kind of the look I wanted was that really blue look but as you can tell I don't have that many blue pluses anymore. Um, I switched, I had an actinic in here, I had two coral pluses, I had one coral plus, purple pluses, I tried every combination. The, the look that I'm really, really liking right now is, right now I have six blue plus, um, one coral plus, and the other one is an aqua blue special. The combination has been great. The tank looks great. I'm still getting that growth. And trust me, guys, when I tell you that I see daily growth in this tank, daily, um, some of the corals grow a lot slower than the others. Some grow super fast. That... Forest Fire Digitata is taking off. It's growing into the green slimer now, and they're kind of intermingling, and it's starting to look really cool. Um, that cap, everyday growth. Um, the Strawberry Shortcake, everyday growth. The Blue Dragon is taking off. I see just about everyday growth on those corals. In particular, the Stylophora, 
you know, if I look at it at the end of each week, there's some definite growth. Um, so, ATI fixture, that combination has been working very well for me. Um, one thing I noticed with the uh, light diffuser or the plastic that goes over this, the guard, um, and I think it actually has a lot to do, having the plastic on has a lot to do with how this thing um, is able to achieve the ventilation that they claim. Uh, keeping the bulb temperature optimum and all that. So, yeah. I lost train of thought. Oh, that's, that's what it was. The plastic. Um, you got to clean it um, with dust. I haven't had salt creep problems because the light fixture is actually pretty high. Um, but the dust, that will make the lights appear much dimmer than what they actually are. So you got to clean the, the lenses. Or, yeah, the lenses and that plastic. Um, no failures ever since I took it off of the GFI protector I had. It hasn't failed. It, uh, when I first got the fixture, it kept tripping the GFI, so I had to put it on its own dedicated uh, little circuit there so uh, it would stop tripping the GFI because I have this tank on a GFI circuit breaker at the panel. So anyway, so we got that all figured out. And so that's the ATI fixture in a nutshell. Uh, if you have any other questions on it, feel free to ask them. That's about all I can think of to go on. Um, you'll see I still have the same sump. Um, I haven't bought the LEDs. I've been playing around with wanting to buy them but I haven't bought them for a couple of reasons well one main reason actually we'll just call it one reason is um, we're getting ready to move so I'm gonna have to break the tank down that's why I don't have the new sump in there I kinda just stopped my updates on things I was doing with the tank because I've, I've stopped doing these things to the tank um, so we're getting ready to move and uh, obviously that is going to be an absolute challenge with a tank like this. It, this is by no means a fucking nano tank. Um, this is going to be a living nightmare. Just thinking about it and planning this so far has been a nightmare and I haven't had to move it yet. Um, so I'm not moving this tank. This tank is no longer going to be with us. It's very sad to say that um, but that is the decision I've had to come up with. Um, the new house is going to allow me um, much more flexibility on things that I have been dying to do in this hobby. So that's kind of a nice thing. So with that being said, the reason why this tank is going away is I'm getting the, in my opinion, the ultimate tank that I've been looking at. Um, there's two tanks I'm in between. The marine, they're both marine land deep dimension tanks. And uh, the one is the 250 gallon and the other one is the 300 gallon. The only difference between the two tanks is one is five foot and one is six foot. Um, I'm leaning more towards the 250 gallon, but I might just do the 300 because of the dimensions. It's a six foot by three foot by like 27 inch tall tank. It's phenomenal. Um, the 250 is amazing. So I'm going to be selling this tank, uh, the stand, the sump. Um, not those lights. I'm going to put my old LEDs on there and sell the tank with those LEDs since I'm never going to use those again for anything. Um, I'll probably leave that return pump there, but I'm going to be taking the rest of my equipment, my electrical, my pumps, um, all of the livestock, um, <laughs> I hope. I'm hoping I can um, achieve that goal. Um, so the, the goal is to keep all the livestock. Um, what I'm going to be buying is a uh, four foot by 24 inch by I think it's a 30 inch tall um, 150 gallon just standard tank so I'm gonna buy one of those um, that'll give me again kind of the flexibility with those dimensions to still keep the rock work somewhat intact and not have to break a bunch of corals because where I place these corals is right at the joints of where the rock pieces connect um, so that should be easy and most of the bases haven't quite well some of them have um, but I don't have a lot of coral growth over those joints right now so should make it easier so um, yeah that's that's what's going on guys I mean I'll uh, there's not gonna be really many updates on this tank now because there's nothing to really show except for you know if I change a bulb or something or you know something comes up that's worth YouTubing it um, will I do a video but there's not going to be much to update on here my my upgrading of the tank has pretty much just come to a halt 
uh, until we get into the new house and settled there and all that. So if there's anything that you guys would like to see about the tank, just let me know and I would be more than happy to shoot a video on that because it's going to be hard not to shoot just a weird random video like this one. So anyways, uh, that's what's going on guys and we'll uh, see you in the future.